hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so if you've not yet subscribed to my channel uh, kindly do so by clicking on the button which says subscribe and uh, today we're looking at question 2 from story sheet 1 and if you want to uh, find this question on YouTube you just simply have to type this which is just simple and straightforward to master you just say ash ts1 meaning story sheet 1 q2 meaning question 2 and then you write the name of the university which is LMMU yeah so let's quickly uh enter into serious business this uh uh oh, by the way my name is ham teddy let's uh quickly move on rather let's quickly uh, start solving the story okay so the first question says which is question two the question says express the following sets in roster form so i'm sure by now you know what a roster form is so a roster form is simply just a normal set which is a is equal to you put your elements there you can write your one two you write your the numbers there and then you close the brackets there so let's uh look at this here they are telling us to say a is is equal to open brackets and then x is such that x is a letter of the word mathematics so a letter of the word mathematics so now how do we write this so this is just the same as writing your if you are writing it in roster form, then you just write all these words. Oh, sorry, all all the, all these letters independently. So when you write M, you write a comma, A, you write a comma, then uh, mathematics T, you write a comma. You just write them independently, and then you close the brackets. So that is uh, simply what I mean. Okay. So let's move on to the next question, which says b is equal to x is such that x is a factor of 12. So when you talk about factors, what is a factor? You need to understand what a factor is. A factor is, ju is simply just a number that can go into an other number without leaving any remainder. So when we say 2 is a factor of 12, meaning 2 can go into 12 without leaving a remainder. Alright, so let's uh, quickly look at the solution. So to find b, you can say b is equal to, um, we open the brackets, and then we write the factors of 12. So the, factor of, the factors of 12 will start with 1, then we write 2 can go into 12 without leaving a remainder, 3 can go there, 4 can go there, then 6 can also go into 12, and 12 itself is a factor yeah so this is uh, simply a roster form of uh, this set so that is uh, the solution let's quickly move on to this one so this one here is a quadratic equation and the question says c is equal to x is such that x is a root of x squared minus 5x plus 5 plus 6 which is equal to 0 so meaning you have to solve this uh, quadratic equation so if you want to know how to solve quadratic equations uh, you can uh, simply tell me to forward you the the what is the the video which i've made on how to solve on the different methods of solving quadratic equations more especially i've talked about the simple methods and those recommended methods and everything i've talked about a lot of things in that video so you can tell me and i'll forward it to you or forward to the group so you first have to solve this when you solve you discover that the roots of these equations are are simply just two and three so these are simply the members of that set so that is the set for that is set c and then here d is saying uh, x is such that x is an integer uh which is uh between this between between this number and that number so meaning we can start if if this one this one if you change it to decimal it's just the same as negative 1.5 and then if we change this one to decimal it's just the same as 5.5 so meaning we find the integers that are between here between negative 1.5 and 5.5 then these are simply just negative 1 0 and then you write 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is simply a set uh, 
in this is simply d set d in roster form so that is the solution um let's quickly move on to the last one here so on the last part here what you just need to do is you look at what you've been given they're saying x is such that x is uh, this equation here uh, then n is a member of natural numbers meaning counting numbers starting with one are going up and then they are saying n is less than four so when n is less than four meaning we're dealing with one two three and then oh we, we don't have to include four it's just one two three so we start when we put one where there's n there we put one so it's going to be one squared minus one one squared minus one you get um so one squared minus one you get zero you get a zero there so when you put a zero zero divided divided by whatever that you're going to find there to just give you what a zero so when you put two there you're going to have four squared minus one you get three and then three divided by this is going to be four squared sorry uh two squared will give you four minus one will give you three and then two squared plus one you just get five and then comma you put three there you're going to have nine so it's going to be three squared uh three squared which is nine minus one you get eight and then eight divided by this is going to be nine plus one is going to be ten the denominator will be ten there so this can be reduced four into eight or oh sorry two into eight will give you will give you four and then two into ten will give you five so four over five so this is um this this one this is the solution for e okay so that is it yeah so if you have any questions you are free to contact me on whatsapp or on telegram i'll respond as soon as possible yeah so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial kindly subscribe to the channel so that you, so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be sending that i'm going to be uploading on my channel shalom shalom